Chapter 7, Learning Objective 5. Explain and record a short-term note's receivable as well as calculate related interest. A short-term note receivable is a signed document called a promissory note, where the debtor, or the person who owes the money, promises to pay the creditor principal and interest on the due or maturity date, which is typically less than one year. Interest on a note receivable is calculated as principal, times the annual interest rate, times the time the note has been outstanding. Short-term notes receivable are disclosed as a current asset on the balance sheet. Notes are often used to replace an overdue accounts receivable to a more formal arrangement where terms are specified and interest can be charged. For example, assume that Perry Company is unable to pay its $5,000 account within the normal 30-day period. The accounts receivable is converted to a 5% 60-day note dated December 5th, 2023. The entry to record the conversion of the account receivable to a short-term note includes a debit to notes receivable for $5,000 and a credit to accounts receivable for $5,000. The note would be due in 60 days, which would be February 3rd, based on the total number of days the note would be outstanding, which includes 26 days in December, 31 days in January, and the last three days in February. If the year end was December 31st, the adjusting entry for accrued interest would be $5,000 times 5% times 26 days divided by 365 days, which equals $17.81, and is recorded with an entry that includes a debit to interest receivable for $17.81 and a credit to interest revenue for the same amount. This is prorating the interest over the number of days from when the note was taken out to the end of the year. We could include a similar entry at the end of January to accrue another 31 over 365 portion of the interest, but since it's a small amount and falls in the next fiscal year, we can go straight to February 3rd to record the maturity and collection of the note with a journal entry that includes a credit to notes receivable to remove the note for $5,000, a credit to the $17.81 in interest receivable to remove the previously recorded accrual at December 31st, Another credit to interest revenue of $23.29 for the interest revenue from January 1st to February 3rd, which is 34 days, calculated as $5,000 times 5% times 34 over 365. That's $23.29, rounded. For our debits to equal credits, we debit cash for $5,041.10 for the $5,000 in principal on the note plus $41.10 in interest, which we can prove by calculating the total interest on the note as $5,000 times 5% times 60 over 365, and that equals 41.10. If the term of the note was two months instead of 60 days, the entry at collection, if we assume the year end was July 31st and there was no accrual recorded, we would include a credit to notes receivable for the $5,000 principal and a credit to interest revenue of $41.67, calculated as $5,000 times 5% times 2 months out of 12, which is $41.67 rounded. These add up to the total amount of cash received of $5,041.67, which is the amount debited to cash.